Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol DCGD. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time, Frampton has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis on, uh, let's see, what is today? Wednesday, so I did it on, uh, well, also Monday too. So, But point being, that is where the green line down here is coming from. But after today's price movement, I'm gonna go ahead and just use this line for a, a nearer term level. Sure, this level down here, uh, it still does pertain to the chart, but it's not really relevant right now. And from, from the presentation point of view, I don't wanna risk causing confusion because there's lines and clutter everywhere. So let's try to keep this as clean as possible. So one of the newest areas of support after today that's been established is up there at 80 cents, which would be the newest, what I would call ideal level of support. And you say, hey Clay, ideally speaking, what would make this chart look the best? Definitely if the price can stay above 80 cents. With that being said, don't get me wrong, it's not a matter of, you know, well, if the price falls below 80, then that therefore implies the entire chart is destroyed. That's not what I'm saying at all. All I'm saying is if the price could actually manage to stay above 80 cents, that would be a massive sign of power on the bull's part. Taking a step back and looking at all this from the bigger picture point of view, that is where the purple line there comes into play, the 50 period simple moving average, keyword being moving. As time goes by, that line is gonna move itself higher and higher. So a very basic yet highly effective way to judge the health of the move, that right there being defined as quote unquote, the move, just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. However you can best visualize that, that is what is being represented. Again, yeah, staying above 80 would be great, but from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls fully own the chart. As far as levels of resistance are concerned, doesn't don't care, doesn't matter. What do I mean by that? Well, if there's you know one chart out there that can really illustrate why resistance levels don't matter, it, it, it's this one. What do I mean? What it matters at the end of the day is what the, this chart has already been doing. This right here, and this will be very crude, but you'll get the idea. And that is, well, where are the lows at? And if you envision these as stair steps, as long as stair steps continue to be built in the upwards direction, then it's only a matter of time before everything else takes care of itself, including breaking levels of resistance. So for the longer term holders, they've now realized this, that resistance levels don't matter because just keep building higher lows, just keep going through healthy consolidations, and everything takes care of itself and resistance levels will fall. So at this point, not even gonna talk about a level of resistance. All I'll say is just keep on focusing on going through those healthy consolidations and sit back and let the trend continue to do its thing. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.